Welcome to this video in the series and behind the camera is part-time cameraman E&D and full-time son and we're going to demonstrate how to load a single cartridge take you through the, the full simple basic process. First thing we do is install our dies. I'm going to need a shell holder. That's the little bit that goes right here that holds my holds my shell in place. Part of the benefit of using somebody other than Lee's nuts on their dies is I already have these things adjusted from the previous time. So they screw just right in and they are going to be ready to rock and roll. I do like to adjust my bullet seater just to make sure I have just exactly the right depth. Okay, now we're just about ready to check our charge and set that up. Always, always use maximum charge with extreme caution. Now before we go too far, we need to open up our data book. This is one we've put together for different calibers at different points in times, de different developed loads. And we need to see what we loaded this particular cartridge at last time. Well this data is the original data from the powder manufacturer, Hodgden. And uh, up here in this corner I have gone through when I stepped through and developed a load. I happened to develop this at just under the maximum charge of 100%. You'd step these charges up a small percentage at a time and then when you test fire them you just make sure that there's no surprises and every there's no case expansion or anything like that but this is a, a developed established load for me yeah okay we have consulted the notebook and I've seen what my recipe is and I get my shell box out where I have mostly spent shells and I also see that I've got the same the same recipe on top and I do like to date it because you can't trust your memory and you don't want to accidentally get a different load. Here's a shell. I'll set an empty case that we're going to make a round out of. And I'll put that there and here's my powder, the one of my recipe. And I'm going to uh, fill this throw and then what we'll have to do the next process will be to check the throw for accuracy and I'll show you a couple of different ways that, that people charge their cartridges. Some people are very, very accurate and will trickle charge them. Other people will simply do a bunch and use the powder throw. Okay, I verified two different places what my recipe is going to be. I've loaded the powder throw, getting ready to set it, but now I need to mention something about scales. Now I have both an electronic type which is a very quick and I also have the old-fashioned beam balance which is something I certainly trust but if you'll notice I have little notes to myself to remind myself that the little marks on this side are five grains apiece because I certainly don't want to mess up my measurement when I'm setting it up and accidentally overcharge. So I'm looking for 77 grain 77.4 so that's 75 77 and then just one mark behind the white is 0.4 so that's going to be what my charge needs to be okay now this particular type of powder throw is designed to dispense directly into the case so I the way it works is you raise your case up into position and then you operate the little handle and then you drop the case down and it should be charged. Now we're going to put it over here in the electronic scale and see how close we are. I wanted what 77.4 that's a little under and to be honest that's going to work out just great for us. I'm going to put it over here in the mechanical balance scale and we see we are able 
we just barely begin to lift up the arm. Now what I'll do again is I'll show you another way. Now as long as you're undercharged, very small amount, I can run a batch with this thing in that area because I happen to know from running it back and forth with this powder that I'm not going to exceed my maximum throw with this. But if you didn't know, you would do about 10 of these back and forth and just make sure that you're confidently lying under your charge. <laughs> Here's another one. What I'm going to do with it is show you this other device. This is called a powder trickle. And I'll show you what it does. I'm going to come over here to my scale. And I'm going to just turn this little knob until just a few of the little pieces hit. Okay, that gives us an absolute perfect charge every time. And if you're doing rifle bullets, a lot of people will do it that way. They'll trickle charge every single case because they want to be deadly accurate. Okay, now that we've verified we have a, a good charge, what we need to do is we need to decap and size, neck size, the spent case. We need to then reprime it and then add the powder. So we spin the turret from our powder to spent to our neck sizing die and since we're just doing neck sizing with a collet and it's already set up all I need to do is bring this thing up and that should take care of that this little black thing caught the spent primer and if you look over here there's different methods you can prime this is a little hand primer and inside you have primers a reservoir of primers with the anvil side up I'm going to cheat and do it showing the press method which in this case I've removed the tube the tube that goes with it that is a reservoir for this so that we can film better and we just simply push this into the press and bring this down and insert the primer and I'm going to pull this out just to show you there's the primer feels nice and flat. And we'll go ahead and put her back. I'm going to go ahead and just make sure she's just absolutely tapped in there because I'm a little bit at an angle so that the camera can get the shot. Now we have that in place. Take this out. Set it down. Put our funnel. Set it in place. And our exact trickle charge charge powder go. So I'm going to go ahead and put my case back. Okay, now we need to rotate the turret around into the bullet seating die. I'll reach in here in my box of Hornady 30 Cal 150 grain inner bond bullet and if my neck is sized correctly it should fit like that and we should be able to slowly raise the case take it down bring it back and I'm a little too deep see that so now I'll show you the Hornady bullet puller and we're going to go in that let me tilt my head down to see it And we pull it back out. Now I'm going to have to adjust this upwards. We'll try her again. We'll take our calipers. And see, once you set the first cartridge within your tolerance, this is supposed to be according to my box, my recipe, 2.455 and I'm at 2.455. How about that? 2.455.